Welcome back, Pouring Nation. Today we are going to review the Artist Loft Pouring Medium. Now, Artist Loft is the Michaels brand of paints. Um, and this pouring medium, here is the, the pouring medium they've had out for about a year. As you can see, it's um, a little bit opaque, uh, very liquidy, like uh, most pouring mediums. Now, this pouring medium is one of the better pouring mediums. It is tied for third in our 11 pouring medium throwdown that we did. And I will link to that in the description above. So as always, with this pouring medium, I poured just a base layer of the pouring medium and let it dry. And as you can see, this is very clear. It actually is quite strong. I put my finger in it. So you can see my little fingerprint there, but it's quite strong. Uh, that was when it was wet. And it's not as thick as some of the other pouring mediums, but it is a very nice texture. It dries nicely. So for the dry, I give it four out of five stars. Now, this pouring medium is actually really easy to use, and I'm gonna show you that right now. One thing about this pouring medium also, it's one of the very few pouring mediums that says how much pouring medium you should use. In this case, one part Artist Loft acrylic paint to five parts Artist Loft medium. So one to five, where most of the other pouring mediums ultimately end up at one to two, one to three, some of the nicer ones, you can go four or five. So it does rank up there in that regard. Uh, today I'm going to use the Artist Loft um, Thalo Blue the ivory black and the silver. With the black and blue, I did five parts pouring medium, one part paint. Because the um, metal looking paints are usually a little more liquidy, I only did one part pouring medium to about two, two and a half parts. And for the silver, here's how it looks. Just makes a little mound and then goes away. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with silver because it makes that little dark undertone. So I did black the exact same way. Makes a little mound and immediately goes away. And I'm going to show you mixing up the blue. It actually mixes quite quickly. Uh, I didn't have the problems that I had with some other blues where the blue didn't fully integrate very quickly. I don't know what it is about blue, but it does take longer to mix. Whatever mica they're using, whatever pigment they're using in that, it takes uh, much longer to mix than many of the other colors. And usually with blue, I have to mix a little bit at a time or else I get, you can kind of see the, let me do right here. You can kind of see the little dots of color here. You get that a lot with, um, all sorts of blues. So it must be the pigment that's in blue that makes that more difficult to mix up. Now one thing I did notice at one part pouring medium, one part paint, five parts pouring medium, is this is way too liquidy. And that's unfortunate because the only way to fix that is to add paint. But I don't really want to add paint to this whole thing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pour a bunch of this and use it as my base coat. I'm going to pour a bunch of that on here. And then I'll just add more paint to this lesser quantity, which will help it thicken up quicker. So now this is probably going to be more like one to two pouring medium to paint with the additional color that I added there. So one quick question for you guys, when you guys mix your paint, how do you do it? Do you do it in circles? Do you do it back and forth? Uh, I have heard that back and forth actually mixes the paint better. The problem that I have there is it shoots the paint out, you know. I shot paint out even when I was mix, mixing circles, but it shoots the paint out, but I hear that it's, it's quicker to integrate paints. 
So I'm just curious as how do you guys do that? If you'll comment below and let me know, I would appreciate it. We'll see what works best for most people. So now I'm getting a little mound now that I added that. So with this, I thought I'd just do a puddle pour. And a uh, puddle pour, we're just gonna pour a bit of each paint. Now this is a eight by 10 canvas, which means 80 square inches plus the sides, 98 square inches, divide that by four, 25, excuse me, and that gives us about four ounces of paint that we need. I made a little more than that here, so we don't need it all. And obviously I put down that base coat there. This paint, this uh, the pouring medium paint mixture actually runs quite well. I haven't had any problems there. I purchased these silicone three ounce cups a couple days ago from Amazon. I'll link them below, but it has been really nice not to have so much waste. I'm not throwing near as much stuff away. Usually I just let them dry and then pull the paint out and put that in the garbage rather than having the plastic cups over and over and over. So if that's something you're looking into to be a little bit more conservation minded with your painting. Silicone cups are a great way to go, and I have really enjoyed these ones. Now this pouring medium doesn't generally tend to make cells. It actually works really well with, um, with silicone. And I will show you that in just a second here. It tends to hold its color pretty well. It doesn't dry quickly like some of the other pouring mediums that set up really quickly. So about the cost, this pouring medium, this pouring medium for an eight ounce bottle is about 75 cents an ounce. For a 16.9 ounce bottle, which I have here, it's about 59 cents an ounce. And then they have a bigger 64 ounce, which is about 47 cents an ounce. That price makes the cost in the second best range. So for cost, I give it four out of five, four out of five stars. Um, the 30 to 45, 50 cents per ounce is the second best with about 20 cents per ounce being the best for the pouring mediums. Um, as you can see, mixing was really well, four out of five. The dry, now I'll show you this here. So this is a painting I did with our, with our um, pouring medium roundup. And while the colors were a little bit thin here, I got a nice semi-gloss look to them. And this is, as you can see, this was a little bit too much oil, but it works really well with silicone oil. It can make these cool, um, ocean type mixed ones or these nice lacing, depending on what you do. Um, one thing I did notice is if you don't put enough pouring medium in, the darks really take over. So going the one to five medium ratio, uh, depending on how thick your paint is, is probably a good idea to make sure that doesn't happen. Overall, I actually really like this pouring medium. It ultimately gets a 3.8 out of five score, which again puts it in a tie for third place. And 
I would highly recommend trying that. You could also try the premix. They have actually have premix paint that are premixed with this. And they, some of the other acrylic pouring artists on YouTube have done swipes and things with this paint and it works really well for that. So overall, uh, two thumbs up.